Hi guys, it's Mel here and welcome to your Super Spring 10 minute downloads. Now this one is obviously going to work on the lower body. Um, we're focusing on abdominals, backs, waist, hips and thighs. So if you're looking for a toned, strong, tight, taut, lengthened lower body, then you're in the right place. However, if you're looking for a little bit of a wobbly, fat, lethargic, bit tight in your jeans body, then just sit and watch this. It's only 10 minutes. You don't need any equipment, because I'm gonna do it all a little bit standing, a little bit um, on the floor, a little bit standing, a little bit on the floor. Kind of like a little bit of a hit, which is high intensity interval training and lit, low intensity interval training and floor work. 10 minutes, get yourself ready. It's free, 10 minute lower body workout. Let's go to it, let's march. So focusing on all the areas of your lower body, so you can get into your dream jeans, your skirts, and those lovely spring dresses I'm seeing in the shops right now. So let's do a really strong march, pumping the arms, so relax your shoulders, keep your chest nice and high. Four more, three, two, we're gonna raise the knees, just out to the side. That's it, good. Try and get a nice swing in your arms, bouncy, bouncy. Make sure your knees are soft, tummy's in, and I hope you feel a little bit of room. So we're just doing a mini walk. Out wide, bring it in. Then give me some little box points. Three, two, and one. So out wide, bring it in, and little kicks. Four, three, two, one. Like a hamstring curl. And that's it, bring it in. Little kicks. Four, three, two, one more. Let's go. Out wide, good, bring it in. Tiny little kicks. Four. Three, two, give me a little spine twist. Right, raise up, left, raise up. So try and bend your knees on your spine twist. Keep the knees facing the screen, working into the core. And again, last one. Take it right side, right and left. So still working into the obliques and the waist. This is just a little warm up to stretch out those muscles that we're going to all do in the little section here. Four more, four, three. Two. Let's take it into a circle all the way around and then pull back, stretch, release, stretch, circle it left, four, three, two, and push it back, press, in, press, two more like that, so think of this as your stretch all the way through your body, hip flexors and hamstrings, and to your left, last one, all the way around, press, in, Press, little march on the spot. Now keep that march going. Keep it going, right? We're going to add a little knee raise up to the side. Opposite elbow to the knee. And keep pumping. Brilliant. Guys, right leg. Out, take the leg, touch the floor. Good. Goes out, in, touch the floor. Go again. Out, in, touch the floor. Excellent. So we're working now deep into the quads and the hamstrings and the hips. Press through. Remember you can stop at any time and you can grab yourself a drink. If you want to use your weights, you can here. I'm without today. That's fine. Four more like this. Four. In. And three. So make that step quite big so you make a squat, an actual squat, not just a little, little lunge like that. <laughs> Change it to the left side. Good. Out. In. When you take it back, keep your head up, back straight. And remember, you don't have to touch the floor. You can just reach. So try not to do the exercises without good form. Yeah. Always keep your positive posture and good form. Last two. Press. In. This is low intensity at the moment. We're going to speed this up in a while, coming down to the floor. Arms wide, you're gonna bring yourself up into a little shoulder bridge, so focusing deep into the glutes. We're gonna lift, lower, lower. Nice and strong with those legs. If you wanna make it more intense, you add a kick, drop, kick, drop. Keep it going, guys. Focusing on the abdominals, arms nice and long. Remember, if you haven't got a mat and you've got a home doing this, you don't necessarily need one because you might be on carpet. But it's just to obviously give you a little bit of support underneath your shoulder blades. Strong move, last one. 
and bring it down. So nice and slow. Bring the knees in. Push yourself up. Okay, ready? We're going to take it back to our squats. Three, two, we're going to jump in. And out to the lunge, and you're going to jump in. So this time we're adding a little bit of plyometrics, this is called, and a little bounce. Now if you don't like to bounce, step in the squat. Two, one, and bend. Take it out. Three, two, and in. So, all this does is raise the heart rate up a little bit, so you start to get out of breath as you can hear. <laughs> and starting to burn it up. So, we can do all the best we can toning our muscles, but if we've got a top layer of winter blubber, then we need to get the heart rate up to burn that away. Last time to your left. Three, two, and press. Three, two, and bring it in. Back on your mat. So, we're going to take your right leg into the air, push through the left leg. So we go up, down. So single leg bridges, and it's a little squeeze. So you really feel this in the supporting leg. If that's too hard, keep both feet on the floor. And just push the hips up, down. So we try to go up, but not all the way down, yeah? Again, straight through the front blades. Come on. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Here we go. Other leg. Make sure you breathe. Your focus might want to be up to your foot. Arms on the floor. Squeeze into that glute. Come on, work in those bottom muscles. Four, three, two. Challenge, everyone, is cross your ankles, pull the knees in, roll yourself up without touching the floor. Can we do that? Three, two, one. In, three, two, one. So, adding a little bit more from the metrics here. This is high intensity training. So you can see I'm mixing and matching the high with the low. We can adapt this high. It's a little step. Step in, step out. You just want to add those jumps. If you live in the top floor flat or something and jumping will annoy the neighbours below. Or if you've got a sleeping baby or a sleeping dog or a sleeping partner. <laughs> Whatever you've got there. And add those little jumps, you'll feel the supercharge in your thighs. And in, last one. Press, press, in, shake it out. Woo, feeling those right. Big deep breath in, last time down on your bottom here. Boom. Feet flat on the floor, lifting the hips up. I'm going to face you actually. Then we're going to bring the leg up, out to the side, in. And down. So it's a bit more controlled. This is Pilates style. So the movement is controlled through the hip. You want to try not to let this bottom drop down when you do that. Try and keep the hip up. So do it slow and controlled. Think about the leg that's supporting your body. Yeah? So keep going with that. I'm just going to turn around so you can see something. Press out, in, and down. So it's working lots of muscles here. You've got glutes, abs, thighs, hamstrings. It's the whole one of your lower body. Push out, in, down. You've got two more of these. And then two more little rounds. And that's your quick little 10 minutes. Let's bring it in. You can push yourself up this time. Get your tired. Okay, let's do these ones. We're going to take it back in. This is your low intensity version. Where you're just allowing the legs to come back and in. Kind of in like an extended lunge. If you want to make it more intense, you add a little jump. One, two, one, two. Really long arms. So imagine you're on the snow, gliding along, keep going, come on, pump it. Eight, 
seven. Come on, breathe. Go four, three, woo, and one. Well done. Let's finish off on hands and knees. So your hands are up here, your knees just off the floor. Just, just a smidge off the floor. Just a tiny smidge. Alternate leg presses. Push. Push. Because you're supporting with your upper body, what it isn't is that. It's not wrong. It's a great exercise. A bit more of a stretch. We want to try and get that little press. So the leg extends and then it bends. So it's like a little crouch position. If you find that really hard, do it in this version, which is on all fours. Little donkey kicks. But we're just increasing intensity by bringing the knees off the floor. Little pushes. So this really gets the backside working. We've got another set. Eight. Seven. I can really feel these in my bottom. Come on, let's do four. Woo! Two. Little tiny presses. Down, down, down. Step. Now, when you step, heels go down. Last two. And one more. Hands to your feet. And then just hold the switch. So get those muscles to really elongate here, right the way around. Chin tucks into your chest. Nice loose arms. Looking between your legs. Take a rotation around to your right side. So that really opens out the left side. And over to your left. So if you need to bend your knees in any of these stretches, then that's great. And then roll up through the centre. So coming up vertebrae by vertebrae. Good, maybe a little lace here. Because we've worked these muscles, a little stretch, not too deep. That's it. Just take your right behind your left. Big stretch up, big stretch over. So just kind of working into the IT band, into the waist. And change the height. Set the shoulder all the way over. Good. Little rotation for your hips. Set. And let's rotate the other way. And then let's release some muscles. So take a big deep breath in, bringing both arms up and out. One more. So I know you can squeeze that into your belly. So make sure you do. See you next time. Take care.